Dollar Hey, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbalism Companion Calculator mod, which is being made by form user Valazokt. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a very helpful little antenna planner for you to use for, you know, any of you players out there who include Kerbalism in your game. And I love this plugin as well. Frankly, I love the Kerbalism mod, so any fun, useful plugin to help with that is great. And plus, I gotta admit, I never put on the right antennae for my missions. I usually put on just the most powerful I can because. I'm afraid of losing communication, but with this plugin, well, you can just grab what you need, which is wonderful. Now, there's no parts for us to actually look at here. It is all a plugin via a button right there. So let's load up a uh, pre-made ship here to test it on, say, the ion-powered space probe. And I should start off by mentioning, of course, we do have a mod requirement for it. It is a plugin meant to be used with Kerbalism, so you are required to have Kerbalism installed. In fact, I tried it out earlier just out of curiosity, and without Kerbalism, the button down here doesn't even show up. But with Kerbalism installed and a ship with an antennae actively out here, you can click on this and boom, we get the Kerbalism Companion Calculator. So let's take a look at what all we got here and starting with the right hand column for settings. Now the first option, I gotta admit, I genuinely don't know why this first one is here. It's enable or of course unclick to disable the planner. The planner being the left hand column which is quite literally the meat and potatoes of this entire mod so why you would want to disable it I don't know but hey you can. Now the next option is to detect antennas that you do have on your vessel which is very handy and then the final one is to detect relays. Now these I can see a lot more use especially with the relay one as it can adjust your calculations in the planner. Now as for the planner like I said this is the meat potatoes of the whole thing it is what is going to tell you if well, the antenna you have is what you need for the mission. And starting at the top, we have the ability to select the celestial body you plan on visiting too, which is quite nice. Now, next below that, we have the distance. And this is, of course, the distance your antenna is going to be trying to transmit. And what's great about this is that it will auto-detect and update depending on what planet you do choose. So uh, uh, doing it here, you can see the distance and the center point is 20.7. If we go back to Moho, it's 14.7. And you can adjust then the minimum and maximum range that your ship will be, you know, encountering and have to deal with your antenna communication situation. And again, that auto adjust depending on what planet you do select, you're gonna have a different minimum and maximum available distances based off of, well, the orbits you're going to be encountering, which is pretty cool. Now below that we have the data rate of transmission and it'll show the current rate as well as the maximum rate for your current setup. And then we have the signal strength of your antenna, which is always important. And finally, the amount of active data transmitters you do have. And that, of course, is going to change as you add or subtract different transmitters. Always good. And I absolutely love how well this thing does auto-update. You can, you know, choose down from, like, the moon in Minmus, where, sadly, you can't actually adjust. It's so short of a distance that it doesn't even give you a min-max distance. It just puts it down here at the minimum because I mean come on it's the moon and it's Minmus but if you go to any of the other celestial bodies it's going to let you know the distance you're going to have to transmit of both sort of the midpoint as well as that min and max and updating the numbers here for your potential data rate which is nice so at the uh, maximum here distance for Joule with this particular satellite setup 
yeah, we're only going to be transmitting at 3.6 kilobytes per second, and our single strength is going to be 43.61. But if, say, we're a bit closer over here, you know, it's going to be at the 33 kilobytes per second range there with a 63.42%. It's very nice there, so it's just going to auto-update depending on what you got on the ship, what planet you select, as well as the distance that your probe is going to be experiencing. All great. And what makes this even better is it does have support for other mods. So if you are using the NFEX reflectors or research bodies, those will be supported in here and reflected accordingly. And it should support other planet packs because as long as there's a planet, it should be added into this list and it should be able to get the distance, which is very nice. So no matter what planet packs you're using along with Kerbalism, you should be able to plan out how well you're gonna transmit that data. And it's it's just such a handy little thing. So that, you know, this one space probe we can see is gonna work pretty great at Duna with the max range at 87.2%. Well, you know, if we're going up to Joule and the max distance, that's still gonna work at 43%, but you know, not the greatest and as far out as elo well 10 percent single strength not great and in fact we're not even going to get any data rate transmission up there with zero kilobytes per second but as we move a little closer in the orbital period well we can actually get some transmission in there very handy very nice to have this tool, and it's something that could definitely save me from just putting way too much communication that I don't need onto my ships. So it's just a nice, handy, helpful plugin if you do use Kerbalism in your game. Well, yeah, that's really all to go over with here. It's just a nice little plugin. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next win. Hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.